Hey guys, this is Wild Horse Studios. Um, so today I am going to be doing my 2018 Briar Fest haul video. I've got lots of cool stuff to show you, but I'm going to start with all of the uh, event models, like the special event models, so the special runs, the store special, the pop-up tent special, um, the first one is celebration model, and then I have um, the single day ticket models as well. And then I'll go into all of the other horses that I got at the Clarion or at the park. Um, and just show everybody off to you guys. I guess. Anyway, I'm going to start. Um, so this one is Brass Hat. This is the Celebration Horse. Um, I actually have two of these guys because I bought two three-day event tickets um, to get two special run tickets. And this one is the darker of the two. He's the one that I'm going to be keeping for myself. Um, my two brass hat models were actually really different. This one is a lot darker, um, and he's got kind of like a metallic, um, like bluish, blue and black paint on him that my other one doesn't have, uh, which is, is kind of interesting. Like he kind of shimmers a little bit, like if you actually take him out in the light and move him around. Um, and then the other one is more of like just a straight red bay, kind of like the American Pharaoh regular run is. Um, but yeah, they're they're quite different. But this one I liked better, so this is what I'm going to keep. Um, I haven't decided what to do with the other one yet. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep him as a body. I already have four on that mold as body, so I don't know that I need another one. Um, or if I'll keep him just as is, but I don't know that I need two of them. Or maybe I'll donate them to something, I don't know. Donate them to a show or sell them later on down the line. But for now, he's just hanging out in his box in the closet. So, um, anyway, Celebration Horse. Um, flip him over and show you his other side. Um, he's just plain Bay Carrick. There's no markings on him at all. Um, but again, he's a portrait of the, the real brass hat. So, you know, he's nothing too terribly exciting, but he does have um, some nice shading and stuff on him. Um, the Celebration Horses tend to be pretty simple and straightforward, so. Um, um, so next I'm going to do, I'll do the single day ticket models. Um, I'm just going to kind of randomly pick through them. So this one is Silver Charm. Again, all of these are based off of actual horses. This is Silver Charm. Um, he's kind of semi-gloss. He's not actually shiny, super shiny glossy like all the others are, um, but he does shine a little bit. It's like he's kind of like a pearly semi-gloss more than a, a true glossy horse. But he's got really, really nice flea bites on him all over. Um, I was really impressed with the single day models this year. Like, they're all, all completely gorgeous. Um, so, this is the first year in a while I've actually gotten the full set. Um, but Silver Time, very cute, very nice. I'm gonna show him, I think I think he might show well. Um, but yeah, he's, he's very nice. Um, and then there is Ruffian. Um, the dark color actually looks gorgeous with the gloss, it's so beautiful. Um, like the pictures that Briar took of these did not do them justice. I was so glad when I saw them in the Artisans Gallery um, Thursday night. Like I was so glad that I had gotten all four when I actually saw them because I wasn't sure when I bought the tickets. But um, no, it's definitely worth it. Um, but she has some really nice shading. I know it'll be really hard to see um, from the video because Partly because that camera is not very good, partly because she's so dark. But she really does have some um, nice shading. Um, I know Ruffian is a mare, and this this is a, a gelding, actually. But um, it's very nice, very, very pretty. Um, and then we have Man of War. Um, again, it very pretty, came out really nice. Shading's beautiful, gloss, super shine gloss, um, true dipped in gloss, briar gloss, um, came out completely beautiful again, another show horse, definitely gonna show it, um, mare, I think they got the genders on like all of these wrong, cause uh, Silver Charm is mare, 
Um, and then we have Big Lex, which is my favorite of the group. Um, super metallic -y dark blue, and then the gloss um, just really makes the blue pop and shine, and it's, oh, it's gorgeous. And I'm, I'm not one that I normally like, I really like, <laughs> words. I'm not one that normally likes decorators. Um, I do on occasion find ones that I really like, and this one would definitely be one of them. Um, I mean, even when I saw the previews, like, that one was my favorite out of all four of these, and it, it still is. Um, her color is just beautiful. It's got a little tiny snip on its face. Um, four white socks. Color is just just gorgeous. I don't even I don't even have words. It's just just the most beautiful thing. Um, so then I have my the only store special that I actually well Briar store special that I actually bought was um, Ichabod Crane. Um, I really I I ride event horses. My two horses, um, my Mustang and my Hanoverian, both do eventing. Um, so. The fact that it was, it was another eventing horse made into a model was a, a big deal, and the fact that it's on True North is even better. Um, I think True North is uh, really nice for an event horse. Uh, it's a really nice mold anyway, but um, like a bad crane wasn't there because he'd injured himself, and uh, you know, the horse's um, well-being comes first, so totally understandable that they would want to keep him at home. But. Um, is really beautiful shading. I actually wasn't able to pick him up. I sent um, my friend that's, uh, her YouTube name is Strike for Freedom Stables. Um, and I gave her the money for him and she went Friday morning and picked him up when she went to go get hers. Um, she took somebody else with her. You can only get one person. So she took, um, really appreciated her going to get it because um, I was at the open show so I couldn't get it. And you never know whether they're gonna run out or not. I've had. They didn't seem to run out this year, from what I could tell, because when I walked by Sunday, there were still a lot left. I think he was one of my favorite um, horses overall this year, um, at least coming into it. I don't know that he's necessarily my favorite of like the event models now, but he's still very close, even if he's not. He's definitely one of my favorites from this year, um, as far as the event models go. For the pop-up tent, I got the Winter's Circle um, autograph horse, and I wasn't originally planning to get this one. I thought he was kind of boring, I guess, but um, he was really inexpensive. It was only 25 bucks. Um, I got up early and went way in line and got one. Um, I had no desire to have him autographed, I just wanted to keep him as he is, but I saw him in person because I'd signed a few of them um, um, just the couple of days uh, before that, that other people had gotten. And his color is actually really pretty, he's kind of like a, a chalky, light gray, he, I was going to say alabaster, but he's not really alabaster because he's got all the dark points on him. but. Um, He's a, a chalky light gray, and he's got really pretty decent shading on him, um, like a, a light cream buckskinny shading in this muscle, so he's definitely like chalky for sure. But I, I had no desire to get him signed, I just wanted him to, to have him. So, um, and so now I'm going to show you the special arms. Um, because I bought two three day tickets, I got three, or two special run tickets, which gets you four models. Um, so my first ticket, I went in and my top two choices were the Elk, which uh, was an Ari, and by Nose. Um, so I got the Elk, um, who is, he ended up, I think he ended up being one of the least popular ones there because if you guys followed anything this weekend, like on Instagram or something, you saw all the things that were happening with um, the Elk and uh, New Market, which was the decorator in the special run line. They were having a good time with their display models, and at one point, New Market was laying across the Elk's horns um, as people were going through the line and stuff. It was pretty funny. But um, the Elk is like, 
he's really really pretty honestly i mean the shading that they have across his belly and everything is really nice um he's a really unusual color which is why i think i like him i don't usually go for the the non-equine special run models but um this guy ended up being the top of my list for the special runs this year um they're just to me wasn't a whole lot that impressed me going into it into this year um, there wasn't anything that I felt like I absolutely had to have besides this one. Um, I did get more, obviously, but um, no, this one was was definitely my top choice um, for sure. Um, but yeah, his shading is just it's really nice. Um, they did a really just a really good job on him. Um, I'm kind of surprised that he wasn't more popular. I don't think he sold out at any of the times and there were like 700 of them made or so, I think. Um, anyway, like I said, the, the first take of my top two were the elk and by nose. Um, I was about a little over halfway back, I would say. And by the time I got up there, um, by nose, who was one of the most popular ones this weekend, had sold out. So I went for my next choice, which was um, Julep and Pim. My phone's a little tippy. Um, I have to see what's going on with him. I just haven't fixed it yet. Um, but my mare is really dark. Like, really, really dark compared to a lot of the others. Um, the foal has some overspray here and there. The mare is actually pretty, pretty clean overall, but the foal definitely has quite a bit of overspray. Um, but I kind of expected that when they do such a big, crazy pattern. Um, the foal, I, 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 do, I really do like his pattern. Um, I'm not impressed with the color because he's just plain black. Like there's not really any shading or anything there. Um, he's just black. Um, but I, I do like him. I do like him a lot. I think. The pattern is, is very pretty. Um, then the mare. Um, mare's really dark. She's got some, this one at least has some pretty nice leg barring as well. Um, they're, they don't super like pop out like sometimes they do, but um, there we go. But the mare almost has a slight metallic shine to her color as well. Um, I like her probably quite a bit better than I did the full and when I got them I thought I was going to like the full better. Um, but I definitely plan on showing the mare as long as I can find a, a reasonable breed for her. We'll see. Um, the full I'm not so sure. Like I said just because he has so much overspray I don't know that he's worth um, taking but I do still like him. said I got two special run tickets um, which enables you for four horses um, but as I was walking around after I'd gotten my first ticket um, someone else was leaving and they had a special run ticket they couldn't use so they literally just gave it to me um, and I had a meetup at the time that the ticket was scheduled for so I gave it to my grandma to um, go through and see if she could get me by a nose um, and I don't, I don't know what the draw was, so I don't know how close she was, but it wasn't close enough to get by nose. By nose was sold out by the time she got there. Um, so she went through and she got herself a new market, and she also got me um, straight bet, um, which uh, do end. I I really want to like the mold. I just don't, and I think it's his face. I just, I look at his face and his face is just, I don't know that I would say it's cartoony, it just doesn't look right to me. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But his face bothers me. The rest of him I think is great. His face just bothers me. Um, and I really do like that he's glossy. I think that does a lot for this horse. But um, just a plain chestnut on a mold that I think is just okay. I wasn't going to spend my money on, but she went through and she knew that I 
um, did kind of like him. I thought his color was really pretty. So um, she went through and she picked one up for me when she got New Market. Um, so he actually does have dapples, which I didn't see on the other ones. Um, I didn't look very closely because, like I said, I wasn't particularly planning on picking him up for myself. Um, I do like him. I do think the color, like I said, the color is beautiful. Um, I, uh, word. But, yeah, he definitely does have dapples, which when I looked at the one in the Artisans Gallery, I didn't see, but you kind of have to look pretty closely to be able to see them. You can definitely, like, see them in person. You probably can't see them at all on the camera, because I can't even see them, um, from standing over next to the camera. But, um, no, he's, his shading isn't really nice, um, he just, for me personally, was not in my pick for this year. I, like I said, I don't know what it is about his face, I just, his face just bothers me. But, um, the horse itself is, is very nice. With my last special run ticket, which was on Sunday, um, I went through and... I did manage to get by nose. I was close enough to the front that I was able to get her. Um, and her color is really nice. I was hoping when I went through that I was going to get one that had a lot of speckles of the the white speckles here along her chest and the top of her back. And I did. She has quite a bit of um, spotting there. You won't I'd be surprised if you can see it on that camera. but. Um, um, the pattern is beautiful. There's not a ton of overspray that I found, um, which is pretty surprising for such an elaborate pattern. Um, but the color is beautiful. Um, definitely really impressed with her and impressed with how she turned out. I wasn't sure how she was going to turn out when I saw the uh, preview photos, but they did a really good job. They did a really good job on her. So then, the other horse I got with that ticket was the Dark Horse Surprise. And when I went through the line, I actually got the Matt Bay Tobiano, um, which was my least favorite out of all of them. Um, so I had somebody that came up to me and she was like, oh, are you going to keep that one? And I said, no, I don't really like that. I actually open it up the rest of the way to make sure it wasn't glossy because if it was glossy I was going to keep it because I have never pulled them up glossy in my life um, in all the years of surprise horses never pulled a glossy and um, so I opened it the rest of the way and said no I you know I really don't like this one and she had the buckskin Appaloosa one which was my favorite out of all of them so we traded and I gave her the Beethoviana and I got the buckskin Appaloosa um, and normally, I'm not really a big fan of Leopard Appaloosas. Um, but I think because this one is not just a plain black Appaloosa, because it's the buckskin, so the spots are all different colors. Um, and he's got some shading within some of the spots that are here um, around his knees and his hocks, which is kind of cool. Um, so I definitely think that that's probably part of the reason that I like him. Um, but this one was my favorite out of the group, and the Palomino Pinto was my second favorite. Um, so I'm glad that I was able to trade. This one seemed to be the most common throughout the, the weekend, um, with the Palomino Pinto being the next most common. Um, after that, I'm not really sure, because I know the black definitely was the rarest. Like, nobody was pulling a black. Um, but between the Beethoviano and the Decorator, I'm not really sure, um, number-wise, how those were. I feel like I saw a lot more Decorators, but I feel like a lot of people just put him up for sale because they didn't like him. Um, and honestly, the, the Decorator was pretty cool because his mane and tail are translucent. Um, so, I may end up with the Decorator at some point, but I'm not really looking for one now. Um, that takes care of all of the... Store specials and special runs, um, just the main event horses. So now I'm going to go through some of the other stuff that I got over the weekend. Um, I'm going to start with uh, just the body horses that I got. 
We're gonna start basic. Um, and then I guess we'll just get more exciting as we go. That sounds like fun. Um, so start off with, if you know me, you know Gem Twist is my favorite. So I picked up two Gem Twist bodies for $15 a piece. Um, I was hoping to find them for 10 a piece, but didn't have any luck there this year. Usually I can find a ton of them for $10 a piece and I couldn't find any. I found a bunch of them that people wanted like $35 to $55 for, which is completely ridiculous for Gem Twist if you're asking me, because nobody ever wants them. But um, no, I, I decided 15 was all right. It wasn't exactly what I wanted to pay, but it's fine. If that's what I can find them for, I really just needed a couple of them. Um, to work on some resculpt projects that I have in mind. The mid-year release of Carly, who was also a guest force this year at Briarfest. Um, so out of the mid-year releases, this one and Prism were my two favorites. And I actually got Prism at a local tax shop the week before Briarfest. And I was tempted to get Harley there too, but I decided I really wanted Harley to be a true Briarfest haul. Um, for me, and I found this one. He was actually below what the normal at cost was. I got him for 37 instead of 45 which is not that much below, but you know, a couple dollars makes a difference. You know, a couple dollars could mean another stool mate or something. So I got him. His markings are actually, like, really beautiful. Um, I'm not totally pleased with the mold that they chose for him. I think he'd look better on, like, a Wixom or something, you know, but, um, no, I think that it's, it's really pretty and I had to have them because I love the, the Sugarbush draft horses. Um, so going along the Sugarbush draft horse, um, idea, I had put in a bid on a horse in the model horse auction group on Facebook, um, and I ended up winning him, and I got the glossy version of the Stone Sugarbush uh, Harley's Classico. Um, I had bought the mat uh, about a month beforehand, but the glossy was the one that I really wanted, and I just happened to come across one. Um, and so I picked him up uh, on Sunday at Briarfest, so technically a Briarfest haul. Um, but he's kind of cool because I don't, I don't know if I've just never noticed it on my other one or what, but his socks are actually like kind of chalky looking, um, which they definitely could be knowing how we paint some stuff at the factory. Um, but he has ear tip rubs, but those are really easy to fix. Um, but I'm really, really happy with him. I'd been looking for the glossy one for like years and I never found one. So when the matte one finally popped up, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to jump on the matte one. If I find the glossy one, you know, we'll worry about it later. And then I happened to find the glossy one a month later. So, you know, but um, he's really, really pretty. Um, this is a portrait of him when he was a little bit younger, if I remember right. Um, when he was just kind of starting to varnish out before he got the really light gray color that he is now. Um, but definitely one of my favorites. I'm not even a, like, a standing draft person. I just really like all these glossy Oh, so now I have a matte and glossy version. I got four Django bodies. Um, I'm not going to pull out four of them. Just, I got four of them. Um, I had used the only one that I had, so, and I, he came out really nice, so I definitely just wanted a few more to, my, to play around with. Um, I also, as far as, like, projects, I got, um, the Jupiter Resin by Da Vinci Creations. And that, I think he said, was the final one in the, um, American Miniature Horse series. So there are five of them. I now, with getting him, have all five of them. And my other four are painted, so now I have to come up with a color for him. And hopefully get him painted soon. We'll see. I don't have any of my airbrushing stuff here, so it might be a little tricky, but we'll see. Hopefully I can get him painted soon. But he is really nice. He might actually be one of my favorite out of the, um, the series. It'd be between him and Patrick, for sure. I really do love Patrick. Um, 
And then I'm gonna have to hold this one because he won't stand. I haven't clipped off the raw bits yet, so he's not gonna stand up. Um, I have, I picked this guy up in the artisan's gallery. This is a, an animal artistry Sleepy Shire um, by Don Chaney. Um, he's a, a raw cast resin. Um, I had actually looked at him last year and he sold out before I came back to get him. So I was really excited that there was another one um, again this year. And I think this one is actually, I feel like he's bigger than I remember. Maybe he's not, maybe they were all this size. But um, I just, I really like his one blown mane and tail. Um, he just, he needs uh, the tip of his forelock fixed up. But um, the rest of it is basically just sanding as far as I can tell. And that's, that's pretty straightforward. I bought one custom while I was there, and I got this tie-dye silver, which again, I'm not big on, let's see if you can actually see him, um, not usually a person that's big on decorators or customs done by other people for the most part, but um, I saw him and I thought he was really, really unique, and I liked that his colors were very bright. Um, just he's just so unusual and I really I don't know I just saw him and I was like you know that's really cool like I have to have that um, but you know bright colorful rainbow horses are very popular right now I get to come back and paint more bright colorful rainbow horses at stone um, just within the upcoming month or so I get to paint more more rainbow ponies um, get to do Arabians this time, but, um, yeah, no, I just saw him and I thought he was really unique. Then I got a blank Copper Fox Welsh. Um, I don't have a blank, um, already. All the bodies that I've gotten have been, um, like the true bodies that are just repainted other ones. So I think I might actually just keep this one as a blank, um, again, just because I don't have it. He wasn't that expensive, I don't think. Um, but I just think it would be nice just to have a plain one. I tried to pick one with like the smoothest seams in case I wanted to keep him. But yeah, just a, a plain and painted hob. And then from the same room, I also got Halfpenny, who I've been looking for for months, literally since he came out, since Briarfest last year actually when I first saw him and then since he came out. Um, and I've had no luck finding him anywhere and then I turn up and they have eight of them in that room um, at cost. So I picked one up. So now I have a half penny to continue my Copper Fox Cobb Conga. Um, so I'm excited. They're at the point now where they don't all fit on the shelf together, so I don't know where I'm going to put them all, but that's okay. Um, but I'm really, like, really glad that I found her because this was one of my top um, horses off of my wish list this year, and I got really lucky and managed to get one. Um, so I'm really excited about that. That same room also had some of the Irish Sports Horse ones too, but I really just wanted the, uh, the cob. Um, so I don't really know that there's a good way to move these, so I'm just gonna, gonna move you. So now I'm gonna show you some of the like little stuff that I got because there's a lot of them and it's gonna be a lot easier for me to just go through them this way than it is for me to take them over to like the pretty background. Um, so I bought this little micro mini resin from Maggie Bennett. This is a second quality of the Furia resin. Um, she is missing an ear and then she's got like a bubble in her back or something here. I mean, this was probably one of the, I picked through them. So this is probably one of the cleaner copies of Furia that was in the second box. Um, and then as part of her Briarfest stuff, if you wore a name tag, you also got free stuff. Um, she does giveaways for people who wear name tags. And so I got these 
I went back to her booth three times. So I got two medallions from her. Um, you can see the one on the right has some air bubbles I gotta fill in, but I have two mini medallions. These are tiny, super tiny medallions. And then I got a mini bust, which is really beautiful. Um, I really wanted one of her mini busts. One of my friends got one last year and I was decided that I really wanted one of those. So I'm excited. Um, I haven't decided what to do with him yet, but I think he's really cool. Um, I got a Copper Fox pin from the same place I got Halfpenny and the Blank Cobb. Um, I like, I have the Founding Fox pin, which is just a, a plain copper, but I really like that this one has the, the flag on the underside of his belly. Um, and then I got the Red Roan Highland which completes my Highland Conga. That was the last one that I needed. Um, then my grandma went to the Fairfield and got this chips hole that he has a, a scrape on his shoulder. So we didn't, didn't pay full price for it, but um, you can't really s kind of see it, but it's got a, a little scrape or fuzzy or something on its shoulder. Um, so it's not not show quality. I haven't decided if I'm gonna um, try to repair it or if I'm gonna custom her or what, what I'm gonna do with her um, just yet. So then I have these two lovely Creata um, micro mini saddlebreds. Um, and then for those of you that don't know, the Creatas, um, are basically what the mini winnies were before Briar bought the molds. So these belong to a the molds belong to a different company before Briar got them. Um, so these are Creata Micro Mini Saddlebreds um, from my Saddlebred Conga. That's the only mini winnie mold that I actually conga. And now I am only missing the Chestnut Pinto Creata one that I'm aware of. There might be others that aren't documented somewhere, but um, that one is the only one I'm missing. I have all of the others between the mini winnies and the creatives with the addition of these two. Um, and then I have these two creative jumpers. Um, I did, they didn't come with stands, but I have extra mini winnie stands. Um, so I just didn't dig them out um, yet. And then with the jumpers, I also have this gray one. So I have um, a dark gray one, a white one, and I have a light gray one. Um, so then I have these two stock horses, sow bread, um, a chestnut doe bread, um, these two leopard Appaloosa, uh, sliding horses. I got this light Palomino Spanish horse, and then I have the two walking Arabs and the Appaloosa thoroughbred, and then that does it for the creatives, which is actually a lot more creatives than I expected to find. And I found even more than that. I just couldn't afford to buy more. Because uh, creatives are kind of expensive. They're not as expensive um, like there as I found them online. They were really expensive when I find them online. But um, I just, I got the ones that I liked best. Um, and some of them I got in a lot from people just trying to get rid of um, some of their tinies. Um, and then I got these three from the, I think it's the Star Socks and Snips set, which um, now I only need the Roan Foal from that set and I'll have the full, full set. Um, I found this little Palomino, which I think they said is from a craft and activity set or something. I couldn't find it on my, on my list, but that doesn't mean it's not out there. Um, I got a... Leopard Appaloosa Mini Winnie, or a Loper. I got a Chestnut Loper. I got Flicka, which is the, the Black Loper. And then I got Yankee from the Flicka and Yankee set. This one was like my grail of the Mini Winnies, this beautiful little Roan thoroughbred. I don't know why, like, he was my top choice, but this one was the one that I wanted the most out of all, all of them. Um, and I'm really glad that I found him. His name is uh, Ranger, I think. He's from the Series 1 blind bags. 
Um, and then I also got a, I guess, I guess that's a Bayron um, loper as well. And then I have a Dreamer. Um, and then this one is from the the Outback Australian Outback set. Um, this one is a Series One blind bag. That one is a Series One blind bag. This one is a Series One. Um, these three are all from Series One, as well as the black one. Um, this one I got because I couldn't remember if I had it or not, and it turns out I did. So he will. Um, be one that's boxed up in the future for um, mini box sales, as well as I have a, a duplicate of this um, Leopard Appaloosa as well, so he'll be boxed up for mini box sales as well. Um, I picked up this Palomino one. Um, this isn't my favorite mold of the mini winnies, but his color was just so pretty, so I had to get him. Um, and then there's this chestnut rearing Arab. And I found this one, um, and I was really surprised to find it. It's a chestnut pinto slider because you cannot find pictures of this horse, like, anywhere online. Like, he shows up on ID or Briar, but, like, can't find pictures of him anywhere. So I was real surprised that I was able to find him. But um, I did, and I got him just because I knew that he was one of the more rare ones. Um, he came from some kind of a set. I don't remember what the name of the set was. Um, but... Uh, yeah, and then I also got this Leopard Appaloosa cutting horse, um, which is actually in really good, really good shape. Got a lot of little, oh no, mini mini dominoes. Um, got a lot of little Leopard Appaloosas this time, which is surprising, again, since Leopard Appaloosas aren't really my favorite. But, um, yeah, I got a... Got a bunch of teeny tinies this time, um, since that was a lot of what I was looking for, and honestly, I could have gotten a lot more too, but, um, yeah, no, just, I'm really happy with, with what I got. I wasn't expecting to find very many, and I found a whole bunch of them. Um, and then I also, I also got the, um, Full set, I think, of the um, blind bag unicorns. So I have the two Clydesdales. I already had an Alborozo, so this is my second um, Alborozo. So I'm going to customize this one. Um, my other one I like better, so I'm going to customize this one. I have more mini Magnolias, and I already had both of the Magnolias already. So all three of these will be customs at some point. And then I got two, well, the two um, Arabians. And actually, I really like the silver one. I'm not so sure about the pink one, but I really like the silver one. The color is uh, it's really nice on her. Um, so I just have one more horse to show you. And that will be it for my bride fest haul. And this has turned into a long video, but that's okay. So I'm going to take you back to the the nice blue backdrop and uh, show you guys the last one. Okay, so this is the last one I have to show you. This is also the most exciting out of all of them, and I know some of you are going, but it's a Pluto. How is that exciting? Um, so I went to the Instagram meet on Friday night, um, and Briar had donated this set to the raffle. And so I donated one of uh, my painted Ronald the Mule medallions to the raffle, and so I got 10 free raffle tickets for donating. And I stuck, I think, half of them in for, for this one, and I stuck half of them in for um, a resin or something. And so uh, I, did, I didn't have any idea what he was when I entered for him. I just was going around, and I was like, well, that one's kind of pretty, so we'll put in for him. And, um, so I ended up, I won him, obviously, and, uh, I got him back, and back to the hotel, and, um, he's not listed anywhere. He wasn't listed on Identifier Briar, he didn't come up on a Google search, he didn't come up on Facebook, he was new in box, so I had the number, I knew what it, he was according to the box, um, 
I've just taken them out of the box since, but um, no, I had the box. I still have the box. I kept it. Um, but it is the, um, it's called the Rare Bay Lip is Honor set. Um, and Rare Bay Lip is Honor meaning like gray is so prevalent in Lip is Honors um, that bay is rare. Um, so I got back and I couldn't find him anywhere. So I put a post on the Modaholics page and I was like, well, this is really weird. You know, if Identify Your Briar doesn't have him, then like, how did that happen? But I've also had like a mini Winnie that I found that wasn't on Identify Your Briar and it turned out just to be another normal um, mini Winnie. They just missed it. Um, so I put it on Modaholics and was like, has anybody seen this horse before? Because I can't find anything on him. Like, it's really rare that you just don't find anything on, you know, a normal briar. Um, so they all posted it. Well, I got lots of comments and no one else has ever seen this horse before. Um, so I, I emailed briar as well, but I haven't gotten a response as of the time I'm recording this video. Um, but so our guess is that he's some kind of a test or sample model for a horse that was never produced. Um, he came in a 90s style briar box um, and he was tied in with zip ties, which is very typical for the 90s horses. Um, so our guess is that he's some kind of test or sample horse that was never released. Um, but that the actual um, stable mate is marked as a sample. I posted him on, posted them both on Blab today. And um, he's, the signature that's on his belly actually means that he's a sample. Um, I don't think that the Pluto is marked in any way. I didn't actually look very closely. No, the Pluto, the Pluto is not mar marked at all, but the stable mate is marked on his belly, um, in purple pen. Um, the, um, and what's marked on his belly means that he's, he's a sample. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I just got these two test sample horses for free, literally, because I didn't even buy the raffle tickets, which I'm extremely excited about like I never get lucky enough to do to like have those things and now I have a, a test horse that has just kind of fallen into my lap and I am really glad to have him um he will be greatly appreciated in my herd I'm going to try to show him and the little one um the little one can actually go out in September at a mini show I'm going to but Pluto will probably have to wait a while but that's okay um, I'm hoping that Briar emails me back so I at least have, like, some true documentation for him, um, even if it is just a Briar email. Because um, right now I don't have anything. I didn't, like I said, I didn't have any idea what he was when I entered for him in the raffle. Um, but, yeah, I, I know that at least the Pluto won't do well in breed, um, but I... I'm hoping that they do well in collectability. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, I'm real, really excited to have them. Um, planning to take them out and show them. So I, I think that's it. That should be. That's a lot of horses. Um, that's everything for the Briarfest haul video. Um, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if, if you have suggestions for future videos, um, comment them below. Um, I'm also kind of experimenting with the live video on um, Instagram. I haven't messed with it on YouTube yet. So if you guys um, have something that you would like to see in a live video, either on Instagram or YouTube, um, let me know that as well. Um, today I did a live video um, trail riding with my Mustang, um, and we just went through the trails for... I don't know, it was probably 45 minutes or an hour, um, and I just answered people's questions, and uh, that was kind of it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, so like this video, give me a thumbs up, um, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed it, um, so I'll see you next time.